Every day. I could, I could be that top dog, but, hey, I'm working like I'm broke, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, just putting out good, timeless music that uh, our people can resonate to. Uh, I got four little boys, my own. You know what mm. I'm saying? I love all of them. You know what I'm saying? So when they grow up, I want them to, dang, my dad really, situ- certain situations they look at now, they can't understand, like, damn, my pops really sacrificed. Like, I ain't, I ain't understand shit then. They get mad now sometimes, but sacrifice. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because, shit, I'm, I'm 36. I ain't going to be here forever, man. Yeah. So I'm trying to leave something when I'm gone, bro. I'm trying to leave something that people can resonate to. 100%. You know what I'm saying? 100%. For sure. Solid. Yo, man. Yo, what y'all, what y'all think about what's going on right now? Uh, Drake and Kendrick. Uh, they not like us. They not like us. It's going down. <laughs> I'm rocking with, I ain't gonna lie, I'm rocking with that. They not like, they not like us. I'm rocking with that. I'm going with what Vince Staples said. What he said? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't hear what he say. What he say? What he say? <laughs> that motherfucker said, um, that when he was 15, he signed to a label. And long story short, they owe him X amount of back ends, which <laughs> equal up about 500K each. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So he's been on the label since he's 15. He's never seen the back end. Right, right, right. I didn't right. think I did see that. Right, right, right. Yeah. So now these labels are folding within the company, They're folding into themselves, cutting the artists out a lot of the money. Mm-hmm. So... They, you know, you got Taylor Swift fighting for streaming rights and shit like that, and you got more important shit going on than what the fuck this this beef is. You know what I mean? Mm. You know, this shit is really selling. They, they really selling to something for real. At the end of the day, this is everything is about the money. You know what I mean? Of course. So of course, it's it's really more so about drawing the art, drawing the crowd in, and saying, "Look at this." Now I'm gonna show you whatever come with this. You know what I mean? Drake dropped. A track that was the hottest track of that year. So they just came. Trying to, they trying to get the, uh, they, the revenue up. Yeah, you know what I mean. This business. This you know business. what I mean. It, you, once you get inside of it, you realize how business it is and how much this shit is not personal. Mm. So that's what you think. You think is is business is not personal. You gotta think about it like this. They already rich. <laughs> no, but I. But listen, ser- but seriously, think about it. I'm gonna say it again. But can- they are already rich. But Kendrick's was saying some stuff, man. He was saying a lot of stuff. Listen, a lot saying of stuff a lot of stuff. Didn't want to say. Right. I feel like. So do we think? Oh, he definitely called him out. Most definitely, like on all the like everything, far as from him trying to emulate if he want to be to the streets. How he was saying that he would go to Atlanta and fuck with Twenty One. So this and fuck is like with real, Future. though. Like, this but it, is no, real it's re- it's, it's real. real. <laughs> it, it is real, but. Like Reed said, it's business. It's about the money. They they trying to figure out how to get more money. Mm. Which ain't nothing wrong with it. Right. Okay. You think they trying to get Drake out of it? Or you just think it's about the money? Drake is going to reincarnate himself on some pop star shit and get back to it. To generate what? Some more money. I wonder what that next record going to sound like. I wonder what that next record Drake put out going to sound like. It's going to be crazy. He's still the highest grossing. Artists, of course, today. So yeah, at right the end now, of the day, so right he, now. so if, so if somebody could say he's he's losing, he's losing in the beef, but financially he's winning. So what we talk, we, I mean, I mean that's how we talk. That motherfucker say he up one to Michael Jackson, right? <laughs> that's just like that's just like that that, that uh for me yeah. being a producer, yeah. like uh my boy made the BPL Drizzy Jane, and then Drake come back and slide on that chain. I'm like, damn, he's a damn crazy. Man. But you know, um, Drake, he's definitely uh, Kendrick got a a, a banger. That's a, that's a summer on banger. On the radio, you know, he like, he's not a slouch. Uh, this song, like this, is like what he did to me. But you, but you, what Drake did to Meek, and now it's in reverse. But but uh, no, but yeah. what you okay? Full circle, like yeah, yeah. But at the same time, Pusha T, they said they Pusha T ended Drake, and he came back with some more singles that everybody was rocking. He came out with three more singles after that. Everybody was rocking with that shit. Now Drake up a couple more B's. Behind the behind, just it's because publicity is no such thing as as a publicist. They like you got to think about how many people behind the scenes. Right, they could feed Kendrick people information just so he can have some shit to go off of. You know what I mean? Like this, the industry shit is a lot it's different. One. 
You know what I mean? It's another, another one, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. <laughs> we still going. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, hey. Creation Lords is here. But yeah, look. I mean, we different. I'm gonna look. We this nigga different. This nigga different. I'm damn sure different. This gonna be the shit that we got going on is fucking special. Right. And we gonna jam it down their throat so they know. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm one of them cats that I started with clothing. I started doing runway. So when I started my own company, I'm like. I started my own company because these, when I was doing runway, certain companies wouldn't ch- wasn't choosing me because of my tattoos or because of my skin color. You know what I mean? So I said, I'm going to start my own brand. Right. I'm going to always be in the motherfucker, right? Then I started wearing this shit. I'm like, niggas ain't wearing my shit. I'm going to start wearing this shit everywhere. I'm like, hold on, niggas ain't hearing me. Let me start rapping about the shit. Let me put this shit in movies. Mm. It, however way you're going to see this shit, we're going to sell it to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You was on Tubi. Yeah, 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 what what's what's the what's the name what's the name of the drink? Cause okay. I actually hey, you, got, hey, you got it. I need to actually you know, out. tap it in. Hey, hey listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I, I did some work with King June. Uh-huh. King June, he, I mean, one of those, one of those Spike Lee joints. You know what I mean? Like one of those cats that he don't got the budget. He just like us. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But just in that that, that form of creation, he's in that medium where mm-hmm. he's making movies and shit. But I start even just working with him on the on on the. Uh, it's called Hot Girls. It's on Tubi. Check that out. Um. Yeah. Seeing the budget that you need for a fucking movie. You know what I mean? Like, this nigga got cop cars. He in, he in jail scenes. And I'm like, where the fuck is he getting this shit at? You know what I mean? Like, you got to have some type of money to do whatever it is that you need to do. Yeah, connections. You know what I mean? So, I respect it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And I could do nothing but tribute and, 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 and show up for my brother. You know what I mean? And I'm showing the brand and the shit. You already know I'm rocking the shit everywhere. You know, if I got to rock the same hoodie for a month, I'm rocking it. You know what I mean, yeah. and and um, now that's solid. But it's, yeah, make it's, sure y'all go tap in that hot girls, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hot yeah, girls yeah. on Tubi. I need to go tap in. Let's <laughs> see my guy. All right, all right, all right. Let's get to it, man. Um, so what's what's coming up? We about to wrap it up, and things like that. But what's next? I did want to ask about merch, right? You know what I mean? I wanted right, to understand, right, right. like, you know, any new pieces coming out. You know what I mean? What type of merch y'all putting out right now? Right, right, right. Before we get out of here. Um, I got some, I got some, uh, I'm dropping summer shit. I mean, obviously it's summer. Um, I wore a lot of the pieces in the pool party video. Um, I keep a lot of pieces on the Instagram and shit like that. So, Creation Lords is the uh, business page, you know, for all the merch. You can see the fighters wearing this shit. Um... But you know, for y'all, you know, I always keep the merch for y'all. You know, what I mean, it's, appreciate that. Be, so, let's know. get to it. Yeah, yeah let's yeah, get it. Yes, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But what's coming up? Um, I'm dropping Lord Willing three soon. That's okay. I'm 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 getting I'm getting the videos and shit off of Lord Willing two. Trying to really push that shit. Um, being a new artist is difficult. Uh, mm-hmm. to get people to transition to listening to a new artist. So keep, it is. keep pushing it down their throat. Um, giving them the visuals. I know the younger generation really want the visuals. Um. But Lord Willing 3 is on the way. My my DJ already got the shit. Lord Willing 3 on the way, man. Yes, Lord. Hollywood. Uh-huh. Listen, you got any joints? Uh, I was actually about to say something about KL too, but you say he say got your DJ in it, so you playing a part in this? Of course. Well, the Lord Willing 3 is already done. Mm. It's done. How you feel about it? I feel real good about it. Real good. Real good about it. It's, the, the main thing was we trying to stay 10 steps ahead. So it ain't no like lagging. Mm. Mm. You gonna hear about it? We got we got any joints on there from Kale? Of course. Um, with that, I played a part in. Uh, you know, I guess you could say uh, production, the ear being an ear to it. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, like I said, I just met these these guys. Well, I don't want to say just met. Let's say probably about what three four months. And the conversation at hand was so real, and the energy I brought to the table, these guys brought me under that wing and brought me to the family. So people would think that I know these guys for uh, years, right. but the chemistry just clicks like that, you know. So I I came in on did I come in? 
the Lord Willing 2 was already made, I believe. You know what I'm saying? So I came in when he was creating a, a part three. But I feel confident about three. Like, I like all, all the projects. It's really good. And I can really see the the growth as an artist and the mindset and, and where it's going. You know what I'm saying? Look, the night, the night we mixed down, like, Lord Willing 3, like, it was, like, natural. It was like effortless. Like mm. we went through, heard everything, broke it all down. We did all the track adjustment as far as the timing and getting everything in order to complete. Not necessarily. I mean, you hear it, it sounds like an album. It's a mixtape, but it sounds like an album. We could really push this shit as an album. Why not? Only thing to separate is the time. Okay. <laughs> okay. We here. Exclusive. Come on now. Creation Lord, Lord J. Reed, DJ Hollywood, Kaola Beats. Who's next 757? We in the building, man. Y'all know what's going on. The New Era Podcast. We here. Yes, sir. We out of here, man. Thank Peace. y'all for coming out. Thank you.